Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo of the Lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. It's another day of our Be Creative series. And I just got home tonight from teaching boot camp. And it was an awesome group. They did their lesson three homework and they did a great job. I mean, that's a challenging assignment. For those of you who've taken boot camp, you know what lesson three and the light metering is all about. So I was inspired tonight to do something tough. You know, my wife had, had out her, tur she wore her tur turquoise bracelet to work today. It's a beautiful bracelet. You've seen me do this before and I wanted to make like a product photograph of it tonight. So what are we going to do? I had the baskets out last night, so I'm going to use this as a background. So you notice I had dark, medium, and light baskets last night. So I grabbed the medium one, the medium tone one, because I want the bracelet to be the brightest thing in the picture. I want the silver in the bracelet to really shine. And we're going to do some lighting tonight. So I've got two of the light trip torches. And if you notice, this is going to blow out the picture a little bit, but we'll be patient with it. None of them are pointing directly at the subject. So how are we going to do this? So this, the lighting is already set. I did a test shot before we turned on the camera tonight. But I want the front of the jewelry to look beautiful. I want it to have a glow. So I've got the background light here. It's just glancing gla just right off the top of the bracelet. So it's going to give a little highlight there. This light is shooting at the camera. And in a second, what I'm going to do is I've got two cardboard pieces of cardboard here. This cardboard is going to come right in here. You see how that works? So this light, this light is going to bounce off this cardboard. This cardboard is going to take that light and bounce it back into the scene. And now look what happens when I turn out the house lights. Look what happens to the scene here on the camera. So you can see on the back of the camera how this gets really dark. So the last component here, and this is going to take your, your view away of the background. So I'm not going to put this in here for a second. I'm going to talk to you about what I've done. So I've got the 70 to 200 millimeter lens on. Why the 70 to 200? Because I want to isolate the background. I'm shooting an F11, so I have enough depth of field to cover the front here. You notice the 70 to 200 is very close. So I've got the two of the ProMaster extension tubes on to let it be closer. Now, why would I use the 70 to 200 instead of the 105? I want the tighter feel and I want more compression. So what did I do? I focused right here in the front. F11 aperture priority is going to give me about a quarter or an eighth of a second exposure. And now I'm going to bring the second piece of cardboard in. Look what that does. So what have I created here? I've created a studio lighting environment with no studio. So you can see that how soft the light is here on the jewelry, right? And now I got to focus that. I'm using manual focus because I, it's too hard for me to do autofocus when I'm trying to do the video at the same time. So I'm going to pull this back just a little bit. Let it focus right there on the front. You notice I'm using the focus peaking, which is awesome. Right there, I'm going to shoot. And then look at the playback. Isn't that gorgeous? Look what the background, look what the, the basket did. Made kind of an interesting background. I've got a little bit here to clean up in Photoshop. But other than that, that's a gorgeous image. And do I have this big expensive studio outfit? No. So using the 70 200 millimeter lens with the extension tubes, two of the Lytra Pro lights, and I'm rocking it here, guys. No, you can't buy my wife's uh, turquoise bracelet. She'd kill me. But look what I've done. Isn't that fun? What fun can you have tonight? What story can you tell with your outfit? Mark Komen from Paul's Photo, the Lab at Paul's Photo, wishing you great pictures, great fun, and let's be creative together.